Just you wait, asshole.
You've been searching for me for so long. So I have come. But wait. It's not me you seek, is it? No. It's the girl. I should be offended. But how can I be? You're not the only person who wants her power. There is another, one far more deserving. One who can offer rewards you could never imagine. So sorry, but you've been outbid. <sighs> Fear radiates from you. It's beautiful, but not yet finished. I am Stefano, and now you are my art. Son of a bitch! Meet my beautiful Obscura. Restart sequence. You gotta be kidding me. Sequence will complete in 90 He's gone. He didn't leave Lily here. Where did he take her? Should give Kibben an update about this. Shit. Maybe I'll get a signal outside.
can't believe these bastards use Lily like some kind of science experiment. And then they have the nerve to send me in to clean up their mess? It's like some kind of sick joke. Son of a bitch still has Lily. And now I'm back to square one again. We've re-established contact with the Marker, Agent Kidman. About time. Patch him through. Sebastian? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman. Finally. Are you all right? That psycho is still on the loose in here. I turned on the emitter, and that seemed to slow him down. But he got away. And he's got Lily. She must be so scared and alone. Uh, I've got to find her before he does something terrible to her. I can feel it. We want to find her just as much as you do, Sebastian. Yeah, sure you do. Don't want your precious experiment to fail. It would be a real tragedy to waste all that time and money. I was speaking for myself, not Mobius. I... Spent a lot of time with Lily during testing. She's a good kid. I don't want her to suffer. I know things are bad, but I have faith in you. You've got to stay focused so we can save her. Together. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Thanks for the pep talk, Kidman. Don't worry about it. But right now, you need to figure out where he took her. He said his name was Stefano. Stefano. Copy that. I'll see what I can find out and send it to your room. Okay. In the meantime, I'll check in with O'Neill. See if he can help me locate this psycho. Sounds like a plan. Let me know if I can be of any help. And... Sebastian? Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Gotta figure out where he took her. Think I might have just figured it out. Not doing a very good job of hiding. It's almost as if he's taunting me. Well, if it's a fight he wants, he's gonna get it. I just have to find my way there. O'Neill, it's me. I see the stable field emitter is back online. Please tell me you found the core and you're on your way back here. Sorry. That lunatic still has her, but I think I have an idea of where he went. Yeah, I see it too. I'm picking up the signal again, but now it's coming from the theater in the other part of town. Right. Through the marrow again, I guess. May need a little guidance here. I'm on it.
This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. with my mind. this stuff. Stop and listen to yourself, Myra. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true! Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof! Look! Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept... No! No! I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra, you were right all along. But, but why am I seeing this now?
I gotta get the hell out of here. This place was supposed to be fucking stable. Someone's been watching. Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I... Shut up! <clears throat> Don't say a word! You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Lack of microexpressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have, but the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on, but this place is still falling apart, and I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? 
Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair communicators so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth, too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah, maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us? He's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively, so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person.